in vitro in vivo correlation that is IVIVC and this is the topic for the present video. The pharmaceutical formulations are tested by the in vitro testing and from that in vitro testing results the in vivo performance can be predicted. This prediction is called as IVIVC and IVIVC has a great importance in the pharmaceutical formulation development and to understand how the product will behave in vivo. For example, dissolution testing versus the in vivo performance of the formulation. IVIVC provides link for the formulation for its behavior in the vitro and in vivo. IVIVC links in vitro drug release to the in vivo dissolution, in vivo drug release and in vivo absorption. It is crucial for the controlled release, modified release formulations, extended release formulations mainly and also we can predict the immediate release type of formulations as well. It can reduce number of in vivo bioequivalent studies and it supports prediction of plasma drug concentration time profiles. Strong IVIVC can lead to regulatory waivers for the additional B studies. This is the typical importance of the IVIVC. Always IVIVC is used to understand the product's behavior in the human body or specifically talking in the GI tract when you correlate dissolution with the bioequivalence or bioavailability. <coughs> so why there is a importance of IVIVC or why IVIVC matters? So it enhances product understanding. It reduces development cost and time. It predicts in vivo performance from the inventor data. It supports supac changes without additional B studies. And IVIVC enables clinically relevant dissolution specifications. That's why IVIVC has a great importance. When IVIVC is useful, so it is best suited for the BCS class 2 drugs. Dissolution is the rate limiting step for this type of for drugs formulations and that's why IVIVC can directly impact the behavior of these insoluble drug molecule formulations. Less effective for the BCS class 1 and 3 where permeability or solubility is the not limiting. So for BCS class 1 and 3 as the APIs are soluble so there is less possibility for the IVIVC but still depending on the formulation you can do IVIVC activities. Then dissolution method should be sensitive and discriminatory in nature. Then you can apply the IVIVC. Also, bioreliance should be established for the dissolution methods. Then you can say that IVIVC is possible. Types of predictability for the IVIVC. First is internal predictability and second is the external predictability. So internal predictability predicts AUC and CMAX for the formulations used to build the IVIVC. External predictability predicts performance for new unmodeled formulations. So this is the external per, uh, predictability for predicting the new or unmodeled formulations and internal is for predicting the AUC and CMAX. There are different levels of IVIVC. So level A, B, C and multiple level C is there. It depends on the usefulness of the IVIVC. Level A provides <coughs> point to point relationship and that's why it is most preferred with the highest usefulness. Level B is a statistical moment analysis based on the MRT and MDT mean resolution time based level B 
and it has moderate usefulness. Level C is a single point relationship, for example, percent drug release versus Cmax or time for the particular percent release versus Cmax and it has limited usefulness. Multiple level C correlates multiple PK parameters and has a moderate to high usefulness in the IVIVC. Level A IVIVC percent drug absorbed versus percent drug released uses deconvolution to derive in the in vivo absorption. So deconvolution means you are deconvoluting the data, correlating the data of absorption versus resolution, and then you are getting the prediction of IVIVC. Establishes linear or non-linear correlation. Serves as a surrogate for in vivo testing preferred by regulators for most approval, most approval changes. That is for post approval changes, you can get the help of level A IVIVC. It is preferred by the regulators for post approval changes. That is the SUPAC changes. Level B and level C correlations. Level B is based on the statistical movements and it uses mean in vitro and mean in vivo dissolution time and the absorption times. Then level C involves the use of single point correlation 30 minutes versus Cmax used for early formulation screening. So now we will see the development of IVIVC. How you can develop the IVIVC model? How you can use that IVIVC model? First is develop the formulations with fast, medium, slow release. Then generate the dissolution and plasma concentration data and perform deconvolution with different methods like Wagner Nielsen or Lou Degelman method. Then compare in vitro and in vivo data. And then you can validate internal and external predictability through the IVIVC techniques and principles. Regulatory considerations use 12 individual units for dissolution testing. Keep the coefficient of variation less than. 10% for the mean profiles so that you can get the IVIVC significantly. Prefer USP apparatus 1, basket or pedal apparatus 2. Recommended medium is water or PS 6.8 buffer. Use of surfactants allowed for the poorly soluble drugs. Then you can study the bio-relevant dissolution method also. To get more understanding, you can have the discriminatory dissolution method also so that you can develop the model for IVIVC and best use it for the prediction. CDER consultation needed for the alternate apparatus or media. Sometimes if you are working on the formulation for the formulation uh, for which the USP 1 or 2 are not suitable, you can go for USP 3 also. IVIVC in NDAs, ANDAs, AADAs, so, based on the formulation, uh, the acceptability for IVIVC is provided or uh, uh, can be studied. Acceptable for the submissions if the IVIVC model is validated as it reduces need for the home studies and supports scale up and post approval changes. They are used for batch to batch consistency and site transfer justification. This IVIVC can be utilized. Now, see the challenges in the IVIVC. Complex for the BCS class 1 and 3 drugs, uh, difficulty in deconvolution for multi compartment model PK requires consistent dissolution methodology. So, these are the challenges. Now, consider that the formulation is having a drug or the drug formulation is prepared from uh, BCS class 1 or 3, and you have different profiles and all are matching in vivo. So, how it will be correlated? So, it will be difficult to convolute, deconvolute the data. Sometimes, the slower, faster and medium profiles may prove to be difficult for the IVIVC prediction. Then, sometimes dissolution variations can make it challenging. These are some of the challenges. In conclusion, Level A IVIVC offers a powerful tool for regulatory flexibility. It must be statistically validated for AUC and CMAX predictions. This IVIVC helps to ensure product performance with fewer in vivo trials. Essential for 
कंट्रोल रिलीज प्रोलॉन्ग रिलीज डिलेड रिलीज एक्सटेंडेड रिलीज टाइप ऑफ फॉर्मुलेशन फॉर टारगेटिंग द ग्लोबल मार्केट सो दिस वॉज द इन्फॉर्मेशन रिगार्डिंग आई बी सी हियर यू कैन सी इन इमेज द इनवेटो ड्रग रिलीज वर्सेज द इनवाइवो परफॉर्मेंस इज शोन इन द फार्मास्यूटिकल इंडस्ट्री इफिशियंसी प्रेडिक्टेबिलिटी एंड रेगुलेटरी अलाइनमेंट आर क्रिटिकल फॉर एवरी फॉर्मुलेशन वन कंसेप्ट दैट कंटिन्यूज टू प्रूव इट्स वैल्यू अक्रॉस आर एन डी एंड रेगुलेटरी डिसीजन मेकिंग इज इन विट्रो इन विवो को रिलेशन टिपिकली इट इज कॉल्ड एज आई वी आई बी सी एंड आई वी आई बी सी शुड बी नोन टू एवरी प्रोफेशनल इन द फार्मा इंडस्ट्री एंड इट शुड बी यूटिलाइज फॉर इट्स बेस्ट सुटेड यूजेस दिस वॉज द इन्फॉर्मेशन ऑन आई वी आई बी सी इफ यू लाइक माई वीडियोज प्लीज डू लाइक सब्सक्राइब Uh, and share these videos to your friends and colleagues also you press the bell icon so that you can get the notifications for these videos see whenever we study something we should be continuous in that study and from various sources we should study the same thing so that you will get the understanding you can get the more Uh, in depth and uh, knowledge for the same thing also uh, you can comment you can mail me if you want uh, any topic to be covered through these videos if you have any queries you can freely ask me i will be happy to answer your questions thank you for watching the video